Could a black man be elected in the United States? Yes. Could a woman? Less so. I don't think there is a white person in this country that doesn't harbor some prejudice or we'd all be married to black people. He's actually black in France. That's one of the main things that's being said about him. Many people are saying this election is a fulfillment of revelation, of prophecies. He's Muslim. I think it's very unfortunate that people just bought into the hysteria, may I say. He's gone from that black candidate to the guy that everyone was talking about to, you know, a legitimate contender. The, the fact that Obama is spending so much more and getting in their faces more is essentially having the effect of just making them dislike him more. He wants to bomb Pakistan. He's got aggressive South American foreign policy. He's not the best man I would pick. So obviously, you know, I'm a Brit and a socialist, so my opinion's not really valid. The United States is going to become less isolated if Barack Obama wins tonight. I think either we're going to go up or we're going to go down. That simple. Right now in these times, we need a real leader, and a real leader right now is John McCain. I think, like, I think if like McCain wins, like, the world is going to be like outraged. The outcome, I think will have big implications for the, for the whole world. If uh, Obama wins or McCain wins, that will not only affect the Americans, but the whole world. Most American politics, even the Democrats, are a bit too right-wing for me. Socialism as an ism is something that doesn't exist in America, even as a thought, because it would never prosper here. We were dragged into various conflicts throughout the last eight years because of the Bush administration. You know, there are significant issues tied to who becomes president. A lot of people in Britain are going to be very excited when Bush leaves office. I think they view him as a, a real force for evil. To go to Iraq was a, a big mistake, but it's even bigger probably to stay there. And he said he did it because he really felt they, they had weapons of mass destruction. The minute I heard that, I said, that's going to come back to bite you because you got to prove it. But because we say it doesn't make it so, I wish it did. I wish I was a size three, but I'm not. And people have to learn just because somebody stands up there and tells you something doesn't make it so. You know, they say the difference between a hockey mom and a pit bull, lipstick. On my radar screen, she's a breath of fresh air. I'm sorry, Sarah Palin is, was just a pure negative from day one. Uh, nuclear weaponry, of course, would be uh, the be all end all of just too many people and too many parts of our planet, so those dangerous regimes, again, cannot be allowed to acquire nuclear weapons. She does not impress me. She is not a breath of fresh air. I'm thrilled with her choice. I think, I can't think of a better pick right now for VP than her. I think she is a phenomenal leader. Uh, I like her style. I like her philosophy. I like pretty much everything about her, and I think she'll be wonderful. I was going to stay up for the Palin debate in, in Scotland because I didn't really think I was going to see some kind of you know intellectual tour de force. And I, I am old enough to get embarrassed um, when people are just not that bright on television. I mean, I can't see that woman being able to sit across the table from a Middle Eastern um, prime minister who they don't, a lot of them don't have a whole lot of opinion of women to begin with and you're putting a woman there who's yeah, gee, Joe Plummer, and I'm, it's too hokey. Middle class people in Britain are wasting their time recycling their little bits of paper and, and milk cartons if Americans have their big hummers, is that what they're called? I mean, I find guns absolutely uh, terrifying, the idea of people being armed. I don't even like seeing police with arm, oh, armed because that's, I just uncomfortable with ideas of guns, but the Americans, it seems to be, everybody's out to get you even at an individual level. Well, I don't like Obama. I don't care for him. He's against them. He's against people owning, owning guns and taking my rights, and I don't believe in that, you know? I've been married to a woman for 43 years. She's a wonderful parochial girl. Prays, goes to church. She's a great woman. She wants a gun because she's fearful for the election. I think you fear what you don't know. And if you haven't traveled, if you haven't had those experiences, then they're scary. People of the UK, to me, they have this uh, mindset that they're better than we are. 
I mean, I, I actually do believe that the United Kingdom is the greatest country in the world. And it is not in America's interest. It is lust for power and money which creates factions and fightings and wars. Might makes right. If you don't have national security, you don't have anything else. If we have another 9-11, they think the markets are bad now, they don't know what it could be. Because the next 9-11 will probably be worse than the first one. Anytime you take a poll of other, other countries and, and they are all like down with America, something is wrong. The world's gonna go to hell. I mean, we are, we are the best nation. The United States is the greatest country in the world. Of course, you know you're going to say your own country is the greatest in the world. Is America a force for good? Yes, it is. I am an American, and I choose to fight. Don't give up hope. Be strong. Have courage and fight. We will use our military wisely and use diplomacy. Regain our standing in the world. Speak to those who yearn for freedom. Speak to those who yearn for justice. I really wanted to be scary. There's no swift boat in this time. That the one thing that's more powerful than negative politics is the will and the determination, the decency of the American people. We can change this country right here in Ohio and all across the country. We should be able to pull it together.